right, let's do this. This is a bad thing about wearing glasses when you're filming a video, so, but then I can't see, so, good luck to me. Like, bleh, oh my god, oh my gosh. Oh, this is way better actually, some cafecito, gotta take off my glasses, cause, you know, but, all right, so, the reason why I create this video is to see if anyone else is in the same dilemma that I'm currently in during this quarantine. Um, or maybe just even before this quarantine, but I think right now it's affecting more. Um, just the fact of wanting to develop. I have so many ideas in my head that it's like hard for me to like execute because I'm thinking of each one like all the time that it's to the point where it's like I think so much that I like burn myself out just with thinking that I don't even like execute does that even make any sense does anyone relate to that um or is it just me and I'm like freaking crazy in the head or something um this is gonna be a rambling video by the way just FYI letting you know now so what my point is, is during this quarantine, before this quarantine, uh, my life this year, I started it off with a new job, then got let go for personal reasons. Um, my sister had a baby, I had to be there in that moment, and they didn't like that I had to take time off because she went through some certain things in the hospital and had to be in the hospital for longer than normal women that give birth. And um, so yeah, I had to be there for her. It was a really tough time. And they obviously didn't understand and want, I mean, I get it. So they let me go. So then after that, um, I think it was after or before that, I decided to announce my own business into event planning um, where I created my own business of event planning and I was lucky enough to get my first gig in February and um, I have been doing event planning like not on my own terms but like before that I have done some on my own terms but I have worked for many companies doing event planning and learning different areas and stuff and uh, which is why I decided to throw myself out there as an event planner and I truly do love it It's definitely a passion of mine. It's definitely something I enjoy. It stresses me out, but I truly enjoy it So that's why I made that decision So I started developing that But I obviously need an income that's you know so then an opportunity came for a job in originally marketing and but in the real estate world and I've always had some sort of interest in real estate but I've just never like developed or gone into it or you know it's, it's a whole process so I've never done it um, this interview came up I didn't get the job but then I got offered a position as an assistant and I was like hey I'm down to learn and go in and all of that so I went took the classes started the job, originally didn't get that marketing position because it was given to someone else. Then all of a sudden I start the job and I guess I'm doing marketing. Um, so then I guess I'm doing marketing and assisting once I get my license, I'm all for it. Um, getting into that position of marketing, I've done marketing, I've done social media management and marketing for plenty of other small businesses that I've worked for in the past few years and obviously doing my own marketing and management and I realized while in this position how much I actually enjoy creating content, editing videos, managing stuff um, on social media, but mainly just the creation of content I truly enjoy, especially if it's certain businesses that I like actually enjoy like their stuff and like it's like in the same realm of things um, but my point is that I with this job I realized how much I really enjoy marketing and creating content that was the point um, 
So then all of a sudden this whole coronavirus pandemic happened and now I can't work. Um, I'm not, I'm part, I only work there part time and I'm not essential so I don't get any, I don't get to work from home from this company. So I'm left with nothing. <laughs> Um, except luckily something temporary came up which I'm working so luckily I am working from home in something completely temporary which I'm very grateful for but obviously during these moments and even before I got that temporary position um, a lot of things come into my head my own business uh, I was just starting to develop it and obviously event planning is not something that's no events are happening anytime soon until all this like actually lifts up um, but just trying to create a way of, or during this time, I've been thinking of creating a way of how I can be of a help through event planning for people. And my thing is like doing free virtual consultations for events of later on this year if that, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm hoping. And if not, then for next year, you know, I mean, it's never too early to plan. This is the time that people have so much time on their hands to even think of planning. Um, stuff like that. I want to create content for that business on like how to do, because it's also a learning curve for me. I know how to plan an event and certain things, but there's certain decorations that I want to be able to offer. And obviously I have to learn and I have to... Um, learn how to do them so this is my time too to start learning and I want to create that content of me the process of me learning and showing what I can do so that's one thing with that business another thing is um, with the opportunity with this marketing in the real estate world and you know noticing how much I truly enjoy creating content um, before I got this opportunity for this side gig right now from working from home I thought of being able to offer social media management services to local businesses, small businesses that I know right now everyone is turning into virtual um, because we have to. So uh, I know a lot of people aren't used to that, especially local businesses or small businesses aren't used to it. Some of them are, and I'm not saying they're not all of them are, but some of them aren't. And sometimes that's hard for businesses that aren't used to it and don't even care about social media to turn to that. But right now there is a need for it. So my plan um, before I got this temporary gig was to start developing that. And I do have my first client, which is my own brother, which is great. And that actually just happened without me even asking. Um, so I have that opportunity, which is amazing, but now my issue is I have this temp job that I'm devoting many, many hours to and not being, I'm so drained out by it that I have no desire to do anything after. And so now it's just, uh, knowing how to balance things out and using the amount of time that I'm given throughout the day. Um, so that's my dilemma right now. I just don't know how to like, I wanna aim at all these. And then there's another side of things. And then the other side is, so it starts off with my own business, event planning, my second business of social media management, now having a client and, and dealing with their stuff. And then there's this other area of my life that I wanna conquer, which is now that I got into the real estate world and taking the real estate classes, right before all of this, um, I still haven't gotten my license. So now I, I want to study to get my license too. And I feel like this is the time to do all the stuff because I mean, now more than ever, we have nothing else really to do. And at the same time, I want to be making money. So the side gig, but the side gig is taking a lot out of me. So then I can't focus on my own stuff. So this is my dilemma at the moment. And I also want to start creating content um, like this and TikToks and my, like boosting my Instagram pages and then boosting my business pages, my personal page. I could really, I mean, that's where I have my main audience right now, 
So I guess I do have to boost that in order to create it towards my other Instagrams, basically my business Instagrams. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of like where I'm at right now, where I'm just like in this like funk of not no learning process on so many areas, just learning more about social media management so I can make things easier for myself. It's learning about event planning so I can then when this is over, be able to fully offer more services in that area. Um, it's also just like, it's a lot, it's a lot. So right now, I'm grateful for the moment. I'm grateful that I'm able to even, that I'm healthy enough to even be able to do anything right now. Um, but I just have all that in my head and I just don't know how to manage, manage it. <laughs> I've been always good at managing things, but when it comes to like too many things at the same time, I just like, I, I'm great at like, multitasking but I don't know why when it comes to my own things like this I just like blah, and I just like think about it so much that then I just can't execute but this video I'm making it to see if anyone else is in the same dilemma as I'm in and also as like uh, keeping me accountable for actually doing this like I didn't get this mug for no reason. I always dreamt of having my own businesses and doing my own thing. I'm not that great at working for others. Like not in the fact that I just um, am a bad worker cause I'm not, it's just the fact of I'm not, unless I'm passionate about the job, I don't execute well on like being told how to do things and like being like controlled. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. Um, so yeah, so that's why I want to develop my own things and now that I talk about it, I feel like I can actually freaking do it. I have to use all these hours. Oh, look at my hair. Another thing I, I want to also do is I sell uh, Monet products and my hair is like a perfect example, which right now it's crazy, but it's a perfect example of being able to do that too and I don't even know if that makes any sense, but yeah. Anyone else in this boat that can relate to me, I don't, like, this video is going to be too long of just rambling, but if you're watching, I appreciate it. Um, there's so many things that I want to do, because literally I'm now thinking of running Monet business, which is organic shampoo and skincare, organic hair care and skincare products, doing that also on my own Instagram page, and then... <laughs> I also want to do a podcast, which I have with my boyfriend, and potentially being able to develop that, and it's just like, my brain just goes like, after I think of all this stuff. But I'm gonna get it done, and this is why I'm doing this video, so I can freaking hold myself accountable, and fucking do it for once in my life, and finally live the life that I want as a business owner. It's not gonna be easy, it's gonna be hard, there's going to be a lot of work involved, but I know I can do it and I'm going to get it done. And this is the time, this is the opportunity and I have to roll with it. I have to fucking roll with this opportunity in time. And this virus is giving me this opportunity in time, so I'm going to make the best out of it. So anyone else out there in this boat, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Let me know how you feel. I hope everyone's staying safe. Wash your hands, wear face mask, and just stay home because that's what we're told to do right now. And let's use this time and be, I don't know, productive. Let's do it. <laughs>